Hello, Chef here with yet another exciting video for you. So, a lot of people have asked me uh, in the past, what does the black watermelon taste like? Well, this is what I'm going to get into here today with you. Got some garnishing tools here. We're going to select one of them and we're going to do a little carving and a little tasting. But before I get into that, information about this melon. So the black watermelon or black diamond watermelon is a really dark, dark color. Uh, it's, it's kind of translucent sometimes. Looks a little green, a little purple, a little gray, black. It's got different colors going on, but the main thing is it's different. It's not just the outside look, it's what's inside. Uh, these can grow up to 30 pounds. Uh, the vines can get about 20 to 30 feet long. Crazy, big, beautiful melon. How to tell if it's ripe? Well, that's simple. Should have a nice knocking sound. Pick it up, feel it, listen for that, that sound. Wow! chef is helping you look at that so before I cut this and do a tasting I'm gonna carve it up got some garnishing tools here Okay, and I repeated that again. So if you think this is pretty cool, and you want to have one of these at your next gathering, event, or birthday party, holiday, or Christmas, reach out, contact the chefs. We do have some chefs that travel. Nice. Oh, I like it. Make sure to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this melon. And I'm about to do a tasting here. We're going to bust it open. Okay. Well, by looking at this, trying to decide which piece to eat, uh, when I'm not sure, I'm going to probably go for the left. Could be riper than the right side. Depends which way you look at it, right? Yep. All right. I've got a large knife here. This is the Porsche Turbo Chef Knife. Comes even bigger. This one here is the, uh, I think the Hakata. It's like about an eight and a half inch. It comes 10 inch as well. Really, really nice series. I like these. It's gonna be very, very easy to cut this melon. I'm gonna go right down the line here like this. Yep. And I'm gonna cut in right like this. Right down the line. You gotta have a good knife for watermelon. There's no such thing as a watermelon knife. It's the knife that's comfortable and friendly and usable to you. Not some garbage someone's trying to mass market. Quality. Buy the best the first time. Wow, look at that. Nice. Wow, looks really good. Smells sweet. Let's do a quick tasting here. And I'm going to tell you what I think. Uh, since I'm on camera, gonna do it like this uh-huh Wow this melon gets a 9.9 .9 out of 10 perfect subscribe right there visit your sponsor smash the like button seek out the black watermelon oh yeah have a great day
subscribe right there, smash that like button, and uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel. There's some more cool stuff coming. Oh, on a side note, some of my videos are touching on knife safety, so I suggest, especially for the kids, you get them cooking, get the Chef's stainless steel glove. With this glove on, you have full protection, no cuts, no issues. I like it, it works, and uh, wow, it protects. That's what it's all about, safety. Yeah, made in America, made in USA, only at your sponsor right there. Yeah, check it out. Get cooking. Have a great day. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. I will show you how to maintain cutting boards. Let me see. The first one is my my standard right here, and that is this awesome Boost Mystery Oil. Love it. Second one is the board cream. Okay, board cream, good stuff. So uh, you notice they're different. The board cream's a little bit thicker. You actually have to squeeze it pretty good to get it out of the package, and the oil is a little thinner. Your sponsor's got them right there. Uh, this will be dry within a few minutes or hours. I'll just let it sit overnight and it'll be totally dry by morning. So if you watch the videos, you already know I do a ton of cooking and a lot of reviews. This cutting board is 10 years plus old. I use a bench scraper. I clean it off like this when I'm done. And I oil it, I maintain it. Very important you use the right products here. I got the Boost Mystery Oil and I got the Boost Board Cream. Both of these are NSF certified, both of these are edible, they're food safe, they're not going to hurt you. I like them. Doesn't matter if you've got an old cutting board like this or a new cutting board. Here's a brand new slab right here. This comes in all different dimensions, 24 by 48, 24 by 60, 25 by 39 and a quarter. Uh, 121 inches by 30, 36 by 96, as big as you want to go. Contact your sponsor. They give you uh, free shipping. I believe there's no tax most areas. It's the good stuff. And this gets treated the same way. Mystery oil every month. Board cream if you prefer. It's a little bit thicker. With that, I'm going to let you go. All of these items are in stock at your sponsor. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Get cooking and have a great day. American black walnut is a beautiful species of wood, makes a great cutting board, countertop, uh, bar top, island top, <clears throat> you name it. I really like this wood. It's nice and hard, very beautiful, a chocolatey brown color. Next. Uh, maple. This one here is uh, 
This is rock maple. It's covered in plastic, but that doesn't matter. You can see the color. It's very, very nice. These are NSF certified. Uh, beautiful, light blonde color. Here we have bamboo. This one's imported. Uh, you can see, you get what you pay for. Uh, I don't use these. Oh, on a side note, some of my videos are touching on knife safety, so I suggest, especially for the kids, you get them cooking, get the Chef's stainless steel glove. With this glove on, you have full protection, no cuts, no issues. I like it, it works, and uh, wow, it protects, that's what it's all about, safety. Yeah, made in America. Made in USA, only at your sponsor right there. Yeah, check it out. Get cooking. With this glove on, you have full protection, no cuts, no issues. I like it, it works, and uh, wow, it protects. That's what it's all about, safety. Yeah, made in America, made in USA, only at your sponsor right there. Yeah, check it out, get cooking. Have a great day. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah, you gotta have that. in one of the kitchens with one of these cutting boards and almost every week or bi-weekly people ask me chef how do you clean that cutting board so that's what I'm gonna touch on here right now so this is a rock maple board it's reversible uh, it's 20 by 15 by two and a quarter and uh, it's one of these really good quality here I like it this one's been used for a long, long time, maybe more than six or seven years, I think. So as it gets dirty, we're using the bench scraper to scrape it off, just like this. Any residue that's left, you can just put on a paper towel and you can see it right there. Okay, towel dry it, that's good. All right.
tell by looking at this, the board's getting a little bit dry. It's ready for an application of mystery oil. There's another product, a little thicker, that has a little more beeswax. That's the board cream. Good stuff. Shake it up. I've got more tricks. Watch some of the other videos. More tricks with this, too. We shake it up. We put it on in a swirling motion like this. Okay. And we use a uh, plastic bag because it can be recycled. And I don't want any fire hazard or anything around, floating around, any used product. Plastic bag. Recycle. Circular motion like this. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm almost done. Alright. So, that's it. This surface has been treated. You can do the sides if you'd like. This end grain surface is very similar. Same thing. Bench scraper. Give it a little scrape. Remove any food particles or dirt that might be on there. Oh yeah. Look at all that. Some of this is spices, by the way. Okay? This is good to go. Yeah. And now we repeat with a little bit of this magical mystery oil. A little bit like this. Plastic bag recyclable. Swirling motion. There, oh yeah, looking good. That surface is treated and it's ready to go. I would repeat this at least monthly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe right there. Smash that little like button so other people find the videos. Get cooking and have a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. It's looking really, really good. Check out the huge selection at your sponsor. Edge grain, end grain, maple, cherry, walnut, big blocks, small blocks, countertops, island tops, cutting boards, and many, many other wood products and applications. Thanks for watching. Check it out. They do custom sizes. They do edge grain, end grain, maple, walnut, cherry, islands, counters, tables, cutting boards, chopping blocks. And these babies last for a long, long time. This one here is at least 20 years, 20 years used. You can see just how nice it is. The patina, the quality, wow, I like it. And it's a pleasure to chop on. Yeah. Visit your sponsors. So you're in the market for maple countertops. Why not go with the best the first time? Select solid rock maple, full rails or blended North American hard rock maple is ideal for a countertop surface, islands, tables, backsplashes. Buy the best the first time and choose food safe varnique finish or natural mineral oil. Check it out at your sponsor. Wow! like that and I'm going to 
work it in a plastic bag here, a little swirl motion like this. Okay, work it in real good. Uh-huh. If your block's really dry, it's going to suck that oil right up. Uh, this particular block has not been oiled in a while, so it's sucking it right up really quick. You can see that. It's penetrating. Yeah. Check out the sponsor, All Things Butcher Block, as seen on TV and used by chefs and food service professionals around the world. Check it out at the sponsor. They're having a free shipping sale, and uh, wow, it's the best. The best butcher blocks made in the USA, as seen on TV. Contact the sponsor for yours.